Ever since the first sauropods were unearthed, there's been a constant debate over if prehistoric life could have surpassed the size record set by modern whales. Lomax et al. 2018 describes two gigantic ichthyosaur species from the UK that just might end the debate. The first, and smaller, specimen is called the Lilstock Monster. It consists of a serangular part of the jawbone that measures 96 centimeters long. A three-foot jaw fragment is scary enough, but we gain an appreciation for this thing's monstrous size when Lomax's team tells us it's 25% larger than the corresponding jaw fragment in Shostosaurus siconiensis, the previous ichthyosaur record holder. First off, dang, my dudes. Secondly, how much did this Lilstock monster weigh, and how long was it? Well, Lomax's team came up with two length scalings, one from Bassanosaurus that resulted in 22 meters, and one from Shostosaurus that gets a 26 meter figure. That's kind of ginormous. If we scale up from the graphic double integration estimate of Shonosaurus popularis, 15 meters and 22.6 tons, we obtain a range of 71 to 117 tons for this guy. Big? Yes. Not in the same league as the largest blue whale ever recorded, which pushed 173 tons. But big. What about the other near-mythological ichthyosaur mentioned in the paper, the Oust Colossus? Well, the Oust bone fragments also come from a jaw. Lomax's team has something interesting to tell us about them in comparison to the Lilstock monster. The Oust ichthyosaur was a much larger animal, perhaps more than 30% larger. If the Oust specimen is a portion of the dentary or premaxilla, then the ichthyosaur was even bigger. Of course, considering that the Lilstock and Oust bones represent only portions of the lower jaw, these estimates are very speculative. As with all fossil scalings, we don't know for sure. With that in mind, let's number crunch. Again, we're using Shonosaurus as a base, since we have a decent understanding of its mass, and it was fairly representative for an ichthyosaur. Shostosaurus, although larger, was unusually slender, and would have less accurately reflected most proportions. So, square cube equation. If it's 30% larger than the low end, that's 28.6 meters. Hot dang! The low end for the Oust Colossus, using the most conservative Shonosaurus estimates out there, is already 20 tons heavier than a high-end average for a blue whale, as reported by the Canadian Wildlife Service. And it doesn't stop there. Yeah, those are metric tons. This estimate is 149% the size of the heaviest blue whale on record, and it's assuming that the specimen is a serangular. The potential identity as a dentary, or premaxilla, would significantly increase all these numbers. Heck, adding just 2 meters to its overall body length yields more than 300 tons. Cetaceans eat your heart out. Thanks for watching. Read the papers in the description, hit that subscribe button, and head over to the Ultimate Battles Discord server for more paleontology content. Vividend out.